child. Deaf ears, blind eyes, empty hearts, drowned cries. And as we grow to be a pastor, truth can be to some death to the family. Yet your father wants so much for his words and faith to touch. But to the very one you love, the role of pastor seems empty within his hugs. They say a pastor's child is blinded by their own cries because the words are over and over again from a father trying to save them. They close their hearts to faith because the father's words have become nasty to the taste. Those same words that saved lives over there have become empty and cold and bare. And because it's from your father, those words annoy and bother. Because the words are too close, that parent can never be the host. And as the words are quiet within, tomorrow you will reach for them. Daddy's messages reach down into the child's soul. And as the child will need those words as he grows old. And those words past the things didn't get in. Struggle, despair, powerless will make you remember them. Years later, as you sit after that wreck in sorrow and regret, as you sit there about to lose that child, God brings flashbacks from miles. As the police rams down your door, Rushing in, guns blazing across the floor. As you lay about to die, God brings back those childish cries. Yesterday you got it. It just didn't show. And because of bad words, today you know. Right when you needed them, there were the words. At that second, your dad was heard. Right at that second, you did understand how great your father was as a young man. Right at that second, you felt love, eager for your father's hugs. And the memory of each time you pulled away, this struggle brings back today. As you sit with joyous tears in your eyes, you realize it wasn't that bad to be a pastor's child. Right? No.